Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. And I'm excited about this one because it's the first one for the blog in our blog series. So we're gonna have a couple here on styling the blog. This first one is how to change the number of columns that are displayed in the Divi blog module. Now there's a lot of tutorials out there on this. A lot of them involve a lot of code and a lot of them do not even work anymore. And you know I like to keep it simple. How does one line of CSS in the blog module sound to you? <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's just so easy. Uh, I'm gonna throw in a couple extra bonus CSS snippets there as well, but it's just so easy and I'm excited to show you how to do this. All right, so we've been working on a blog series. So we're doing some tutorials related to the blog module and you can find them over at PA creative slash category slash Divi blog, I think. I should know that. Anyway, so they're over on the blog in the category um, and then here on YouTube as well, of course. So anyway, the first one we did there was changing the blog layout to a list. So we had the image on the left and the details on the right. And that was that worked pretty good. Um, I like that a lot. And we, we even had the media query there just so it wouldn't do that on, on mobile and stuff like that. But I like a more of like a grid layout and I've, I've said that before. So I'm going to be showing you here on the, on a, my example site here, but um, I'm going to add the blog module. So come on blog. There we go. So right here it's on full width which that's what we need it to be on but what i mean is i like i like it to be on grid a lot but you're you don't have any option for columns you know it just comes in as three and that's it um and then if if you had this in a smaller column like let's just show you here real quick if i had this in like this here well there it only shows one okay because it, it don't fit or if i had a, a little bit wider like this one it would show two and then it would the same effect would happen when you're going from like tablet and phone and stuff. The point of this is that you can make any column number you want and to make it really, really easy because I've seen so many tutorials about this that are just so complicated that I even get confused. I really do. So we got to have a blog module and have it set to full width. That's the first thing. And we're not going to keep it full width, but it needs to be in that that stage or whatever you want to call it. It's like a, it's the way the code works. It's completely different than the grid. So anyway, follow along on the tutorial. And I, I'm sorry, I don't have my images in here. A lot of times I'm recording my tutorials, you know, obviously before I publish the blog post because they get published at the same time. So I need to take my screenshots yet. So I need to do my tutorial so I can take my screenshots. So you're going to see a lot of blank images. You can see how I little behind the scenes of how I work. So anyway, so right now I have, um, I want to start with two columns. All right. Do you remember I said this is going to be really easy? If you watched my other tutorial, I promised that this was going to be extremely easy to do. I want my blog to be two columns in this example. We're going to cover some other ones, but three is by default. I want this too. What do I do? Okay. We have it set to full width and there is the answer. This little bit of code. Copy those two little lines. Or if you want to have the pleasure of writing them, look at them and memorize it and write them in the module because you'll feel really good when you add two lines of code and do this, especially if you've tried other tutorials. Okay, so let's go here to our blog module. We're going to go into the settings. We're not even going to go to page settings or theme options. Go to the advanced tab. Custom CSS, main element, and paste that in there. You're done. Um, there you go. Two column blog. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm a little happy. I don't know. Okay, so that's one. What if we wanted it to be four columns? Now, I'm not going to show you three. Three doesn't work. Three actually con conflicts with the code. Yeah, believe it or not. So you can't actually do three, which if you want three, just put it on the grid. Um, so the next one is four columns. All right. Well, um, we could copy this or we could just 
you know, change the number. So I'll go in here. You're literally going to the module, advanced tab, into the custom CSS, the main element. Right here, I'm just changing this. So I changed that number. All right, there's four. Okay. So now we have to adjust it a little bit for responsiveness and that's really important and you could change this number here too the, the yeah, I should explain this is the number of columns column count I guess that's self-explanatory but then column gap that's the space between them so I'll just I'll, I'll demonstrate if I make this like 20 see it's a lot smaller or none then it's really bad if you don't have it I just put 60 the reason I put 60 is because by default these things all have 60 pixels of margin at the bottom so I just thought, hey, they'll, they'll be consistently even around the sides. That's there. I talk about that changing the blog column spacing. All right. So now we need to change this on mobile. And again, we're not going to be adding any snippets of code. We're going to do this in the builder there. I mean, we're going to have our, our couple of lines of code, but we're not going to actually add classes and all that. I have this tutorial on media queries. So essentially it's, you know, on how to add media queries in Divi and, and, and explains what they are. So I, I go over what they are, how they work, you know, what breakpoints are, and then the min width, max width, the, the popular ones there have some examples here. So we're going to, we're going to do this. So uh, this is really fun how simple this is. I know I, I guess I keep basking in that, but anyway, let's enable this little icon that's the responsive icon. If you've taken my free course on how to make Divi responsive, you've seen that thing a hundred times. We have these three breakpoints. Right now, this is going to apply to all of them. We don't want the column count four to apply to tablet and phone, right? We want to change that. I'm going to make sure I have it copied. I'm going to switch to tablet. And you see what I'm saying here. They're, they're, it's too many. We want this to be two on tablet and just for fun we want to change this to 40 pixels because we need the extra space then when we go to phone uh, two are a little tight so we paste it again change it to one and then we don't need the column gap do you see what I did there I added a different column count for each breakpoint so desktop has four, tablet has two. The preview is a little slow, ignore that. Phone has one. We have just made our column count however we want in the Divi blog module, and we've made it responsive with literally these two lines of code. All right, and we can also add some fancy styling. Why not, right? So I'll show you what this does. Um, copy this. And the reason I have, like right now, if you notice, like the, the image is lined up perfectly with the edge of the content. And that's, you know, that's fine. Um, but if you wanted to add some, like a background, see that? It actually adds the background and then the spacing. I mean, you, yeah, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't want there to be the background without the padding for example right so that's why I added both of them and then um, a slight border radius and then this here I need to explain this you need if you're using any of this you're going to need this this is some um, code it's called you know page break inside or break inside and then avoid is the the value um, without that the way the Divi um, blog works it's like it's really confusing it's like three posts down is one and then the next column is the next three and then the next three it's and, I, and this is way beyond this but i'm just it's it's technical the way it works it's confusing but if i did not have this i can i can take it out and show you what would happen without it and it's weird sometimes it don't update right away it's kind of strange there right there we go so the way this is actually working without that, you can kind of see this one's cut off. The top of this one is here. The top of this one is here. And the top of this one is here. See it? Because it's like stacking down. 
like down one and then up but it's like making them even um and that's that's just what we're avoiding by by keeping that in there and i lost it now but on my clipboard but anyway that's it so you'll need that as well if you're doing something like that and you may even need it if you're not doing the background i forgot to check that but there you go hope you have found this helpful and and it's pretty cool how how we can do all of that as far as making it even responsive the way we made it responsive and it's kind of different than the normal i did mention i wanted to say um, this course my make Divi responsive is a free course it's totally free so you can check that out um, i just released my theme builder course and actually i just released the beyond the builder course too i made that took that off a of pre-order so that's something you could check out if you're interested but yeah i hope you enjoyed learning about these blog columns and um, i'd like to you know hear your thoughts on what else you want me to do on the blog because there's a lot you know a lot i could do with the blog module i'm sure so i'd love to hear your feedback on that what kind of tutorials you want to see all right so i hope that you enjoy that and learning how to change the column number and you know like i said it, this is really really simple um compared to any of the other you know tutorials out there even on the elegant themes um support help documentation there they don't even they don't have this solution so anyway i hope that you like it this is the kind of stuff that i just love doing so if you have something that you want me to share um, if you want me to do a tutorial on any particular topic let me know and we'll see you next time for another video on how to do something in Divi.